I need some tea. Give me a second. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm so happy to be here. So I know you're probably wondering, and maybe you're not, but I know you're probably wondering, like, where has she been? I just started posting content recently. Like, what is going on? It's been a lot. <laughs> Over the last few months, there's been a lot going on, a lot that I've been trying to accomplish. There's just been a lot, and I'm just going to get right into it. So where I've been, when I first started making YouTube channels, I was in an undesirable circumstance. My living situation was less than ideal. It was hard to kind of get this consistency with my content because there was a lot of instability in my life, and it was just a very difficult time for me. I had a lot of bad habits and skill deficiencies that I was becoming aware of, but also trying to fix. And I also had a lot of poor mindsets that got me into that undesirable circumstances, as well as limiting beliefs that were keeping me in that undesirable circumstance. And so over the last few months, I really have been trying to overcome all that and focus on creating the life that i really want to live so it's been a long road i mean i've been doing what i can with what i have but there was just the effort that i want to give and the content that i want to put out it was incredibly difficult and not difficult like oh it was so hard but there was a lot of resistance to overcome a lot of my mental capacity was taken up by a lot of things that made it hard to really be creative. It made it hard to really just be free in the content that I create. So now I am in a new space. That's why it probably sounds echoey. That's why everything looks different. I finally moved. This is my uh, gonna be my office. I'm still unpacking, like literally have been moved for a week. I am still unpacking, getting everything settled, but I am in my own office now, which is great. I also started a new job. So adjusting to that new schedule has been, you know, a work in progress, but I'm finally getting in the swing of things. So I'll be able to post content more regularly. I've made progress in eliminating a lot of the resistance around the actions that I needed to take to achieve my goals. So that has been a lot more helpful. Now, let me stop here and just like explain a few things. So when you are on your path to entrepreneurship, maybe you're just getting started. Maybe you're, you've been in the game a while so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Once you decide that you wanna become an entrepreneur, you wanna even become a content creator full time or you want to do things that aren't really normal occupations by society when you want to do things that aren't normal occupations in societal terms especially when it comes to freelance entrepreneurship and just anything with you know online businesses things like that you learn really quickly what your skill deficiencies are what your bad habits are what your limiting beliefs are and where your mindset really is and how that impacts whether or not you're getting the results that you want, you're achieving the goals on the timeline that you want. So that becomes very, very apparent very, very quickly. When I started this three years ago, this journey of entrepreneurship three years ago, I had no idea just how much growing I needed to do, which I'm grateful that I started this journey because I now am aware of how much growing I need to do, and really I can look back and see how far I've come, but also where I need to go. Especially when I look at the results that people that I look up to are achieving. And so, which is, that's great. But it's things like that, like my mindset, limiting beliefs that I had that I didn't realize that I had because they had been with me and I was clinging onto those beliefs for so long that I didn't realize that it was those beliefs that were actually holding me back. And a lot of, you know, bad habits, limiting beliefs, poor mindset led to me ending up in an undesirable circumstance. And so once I was in that undesirable circumstance, I decided like, this is not it. I'm not going to be here forever. And I really need to figure out what I need to do to get out of this situation. And that shift really is what got the ball rolling into me starting YouTube, you know, looking for other jobs and doing what I can to solve the problems that I had at that moment. And so now that I'm in this new space and I am working on building my content and just 
fit going back i can now do a lot of the things that i was trying to do when the situation was less than ideal but now that i i have eliminated a lot of the hurdles that prevented me from doing those things in the first place it's a lot easier to just go bim bam done that's really where i've been and what i've been trying to overcome is just coming to coming into terms with the limiting beliefs that i had that were holding me back the meaning that i assigned to things that didn't really have to mean what i thought they mean but i thought they meant really just getting clear on what exactly i wanted and it really required me to get clear on what exactly I wanted, understand what it would take to get what I want, and then execute until it happens. That's really where I've been focusing a lot of my energy because to me, getting into a stable living situation and removing myself from that undesirable circumstance, that was my top priority because everything else stemmed from that. My, dis my discontent with where I was at in life, uh, my frustration with not even being able to post and make videos and do what I wanted to do. My irritation with not being able to start my podcast and execute on all these creative ideas that I had. It all stemmed from that situation. So solving that problem was the biggest thing that I needed to focus on. Now that I've solved that problem and I'm in my own office and I can create content at 3 o'clock in the morning if I so please or at 11 o'clock in the, in the morning. Like I can create content whenever I want to now. I have my lights and everything set up and my tripod set up. So all I have to do is literally put my phone on the stand and hit record and soon I'll have a camera. But the point is, is now I'm at a point where I've eliminated a lot of the resistance that I had to getting to this point to being able to post as frequently as I'm gonna start posting, to be able to like create the content that I wanted to create. I had to eliminate a lot of that resistance because when getting started is already difficult, when you have a lot of hurdles to overcome on top of like getting started, it just makes it that much more difficult and that much more daunting. So before I would go to the library and write a lot of content, go to Starbucks, go to hotel lobbies like I found ways to actually still get work done but it was still restricting in that there was a lot of things that were on my mind that prevented me from being free creatively for instance whenever I needed to use the bathroom I had to make sure wherever I was they had a good a clean bathroom that was that I could use and whenever I would walk away from my computer it had to be safe enough that I could walk away from my computer go to the bathroom run to my car and not feel like my stuff is going to get stolen and that stuff takes a lot more mental capacity than you realize when you're in that kind of situation another thing I needed to be in proximity to food because I was always out it wasn't like I could just come home and cook or come home and eat food. So I had to be more conscious of certain things, even though I was in more or less safe spaces. I still had to be aware of where bathrooms were, how close I was to food, how close I was to my husband's job because we're sharing one car right now. So I had to be close enough to where if he needed the car, I could go to his job and then we could run his errands. And so it was just there was a lot on my mind that now I don't have these issues. If I need to use a bathroom, it's literally across the hall. If I need to eat, I can go to the kitchen. If I want to just sit and work, I just shut my shut my office door and I'm left alone for the most part. So I've solved a lot of those problems and this is kind of like the long way home. But I just want you to get an idea that, you know, sometimes you have to go through a season where things are just difficult. But as long as when you're in that season, you're still doing the work required to become the person that you need to be to achieve your goals, it will happen. You know, there are a lot of times where I got discouraged, where I was frustrated, but I stayed true to the fact that if I just keep, if I know that it's going to work out and I know that one day I will get my office, I'll be able to do all this stuff. I'll just collect the ideas now. Because once I do have the office, I'll need to start executing on these ideas. So just doing whatever I could to still get to my goals, that's what got me here. Because when it looked like nothing was going to work out, when we were getting rejected from other places and all this stuff, it can be discouraging. But knowing that what is meant for you will be for you. And as long as you continue to do what you can do, everything that's in your power, and trust that the rest will work itself out, believe me, it will work itself out. So I just wanted to take a break to just 
say that while I glossed over it in the beginning that there was a lot of emotional turmoil that I had to overcome. There was a lot of mindset shifts I had to make. I had to do a lot of reading, a lot of studying just to see what my deficiencies were. I had to come to terms with the fact that there's a lot of things that in my mind I may know how to do, but in terms of executing that, I may not be where I think I'm gonna be, but I can always get there. So it was coming to terms with that. There was a lot of mindset shifts that I had to make. There's a lot of beliefs I had to let go of and adopt new beliefs. There was a lot of paradigm shifts that I had to make. There were a lot of just studying and researching things that I had to do just to learn what I didn't know. I mean, you never know what you don't know. So I had a lot, I had to figure out a lot of what, of what a lot of what I didn't know. The more I learned, the more, I, the easier it got to when I got to this point where I have my own office, even though I'm still unpacking, but I have my own office. Now that I'm at this point, it's a lot easier to execute because I know what I was doing before, the mindsets, that I had before, all that that was holding me back, that why I wasn't getting things done, I know now what not to do, let's say it that way. I know what not to do, and so now it's easier for me to do what needs to be done because what I was doing was what not to do, and now I'm at a better place where I can just do what needs to be done. Sometimes, even though you can read, listen to all the podcasts, watch all the YouTube videos, read all the books in the world, and it really doesn't make a difference until you actually start learning. Sometimes it's good to learn in advance so that when you do get the opportunity to start putting what you learn into practice, it's a lot easier to kind of just get going and know like, okay, if I don't do this because of this, this is exactly what would hold me back. So I need to not let these circumstances, let my emotions, let all of this hold me back from doing what needs to be done. So that's helped a lot is despite the fact that my reality hadn't shifted to what I needed it to be. I was still learning. I was still researching the information that I would need for the person that I want to become. So I'm just feeding myself that information. And then now here we are. So I also eliminating the resistance was one of the biggest things that's helped me start to post more. Like I did post, I think I posted like four videos so far. One my first podcast episode in the three shorts, which is more than I, I was posting like once a week or whatever. But yeah, I do have a lot more ideas. And if there's anything that you want me to talk about in regards to growth mindset, personal development, overcoming little limiting beliefs, setting and maintaining habits, high performance, anything like that, drop them in the comments below because I would love to hear what you want to hear about. Um, in regards to those topics. And if I do want to expand, I will. I'll let you guys know. But moving forward, I definitely want to do more videos, more podcast episodes, and more shorts. I'm really not sure about my posting schedule yet, but it's going to be at least once a week for sure. If you haven't already, go ahead and listen to the first podcast episode. I'll link it up here. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to hear more of. That podcast episode is more about dealing with setting habits, starting new habits, and how to start something new, you gotta start small. And that's really the point that I was trying to make in that episode is starting new habits is cool, but sometimes you have to start small before you build your ideal habit. So go ahead and give that a listen. Let me know what you think. Drop some comments on that episode. Um, in that video, I did say that for now, my podcast is gonna be a YouTube exclusive. But as we grow, as you know, my production goes up in value and quality, I will be able to put it on other platforms. But for, for now, I'm sticking to what's sustainable for me. So what's sustainable for me is to do, just basically do everything on YouTube at this time. But who knows, as we grow, we might expand more, whatever. Yeah, that's really it. Uh, that's where I've been. And you know, that's where we're going. We're really gonna be my goal is to hit the ground running, at least start getting these YouTube videos out there. And I want to make sure that my videos are as valuable to you and help you learn, uh, create mindset shifts for you, uh, help you do what you need to do to get your goals. So that's my goal for this channel. And I hope that, you know, on this journey, you enjoy it. So I'm not sure what the next video will be yet. But as I said, my goal is just to make sure whatever I put out is super valuable to you and helps you either think differently or act differently. I'm still getting used to everything, um, but just bear with me while we 
growing this channel. Again, if there's anything you want me to talk about, if there's anything you want me to discuss, let me know, drop them in the comments. I really like to get your thoughts on that. Um, but I'm happy to be here. I'm happy we're finally here in my office. Um, we'll be able to, I'll be able to really get more content going. We could probably do more live. I can do lives and we can, there's a lot now that we can do that I haven't done. And I just want to say thank you for sticking with me, even though I've been super inconsistent in the past, but moving forward, we're going to work on being consistent, at least getting you a video or podcast episode once a week, some short sprinkles in between and really just, you know, getting to a point where I can make this my full-time job and I don't have to work for somebody else. So yeah, that's the goals. Um, let me know what your goals are. What is one goal you have right now that you're working on? Let me know that in the comments. And until next time, my friend, I will see you later. Have a great day and do something positive today. Getting into the holiday spirit, and I really just want us on this channel to be spreading positivity wherever we can. So with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.